You say, where there is a tension, there is energy. And I would like to ask, what is the best way to honor the memory of loved ones who have passed away? They don't disturb me. But I want to know which way is best for us and for them. The best way is the one that is in accordance with the religious system to which the deceased person belonged. If he was a Christian, then you must follow the memorial rules that exist in the Christian tradition. If he was a Jew or a Muslim, then the rite of remembrance, the rite of mourning, as well as the period of mourning, must strictly follow the traditions that are customary in that system. If he was an atheist, then it seems likely that he really did not want to be tied to any kind of religious system. In this case, it is better to remember him as a secular person, that is as someone who once lived and did something good or something bad for his children, according to what was done but nothing more. In other words, he should be remembered as a social personality, and if he departed according to the Christian last rite and Christian funeral rite, then the memorial should also be in accordance with the dates, rules and rituals that are accepted in Christianity. Even if you are not a Christian yourself, but you want to support your deceased ancestors, it is better to follow the canons and commandments according to which they were buried. An exception may be the case of a baptized person who was an atheist during his lifetime, but was buried strictly according to the Christian rite. This is where people can make some mistakes by tying a person to this Christian channel in an unnatural way. If this is the case, then stop all remembrance so that the deceased can simply reincarnate more quickly in this world and be freed from the need to stay on this channel as long as you honor his memory. That's exactly what I felt intuitively. Because I had relatives who were religious, but basically most of the family members are atheists. We must respect another person's life and views. You know, Sometimes it seems that people bury a deceased relative as if they were rehearsing their own funeral. So many conventions about how to behave, where to turn, what to say. Maybe the deceased should just go away quietly, without any memorial, but around his life and around his death, his relatives hold some kind of public memorial service. Whereas he doesn't need it at all, so stop all remembrance, and just honor your deceased relative as a good person who lived a life and did many good things for you. And then he'll be released. He'll be set free from this bondage that's trying to make a good Christian soul out of him.